Today's uh, tricky topic in two minutes has to do with the shape of magnetic fields. Um, what I have right here is this is a regular kitchen magnet. I know it says feel nano on it and um, so it may look like it's special but it's really not. It's the same kind of material that uh, most anybody might have stuck to their refrigerator to hold up pictures of their um, dog or cat, children, grandchildren, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, uh, I want to show you something with it that, that probably most people don't know. So uh, this strip right here, this was all one at one time, right? This little piece right here uh, came off, broke it off. If you slide this across here one way, you're not going to notice anything unusual. But if you slide it across the other way, you see it jump up and down. And maybe that's a surprise to you. So, uh, if you're like most people, what you've been taught about uh, magnetic fields around objects, like if this was an object and somebody told you it was a magnet, which it was, what they'd say is, you might say is, well, look, one end's got to be north and one end's got to be south, just like all the pictures you've ever seen in books. And so, uh, you know, if you go further with that, you'd say, okay, well, magnetic field lines, if you've learned this, uh, come out of the north, so maybe they come out of the north and they come in at the south and they go in little circles around this, just like every bar magnet you've ever seen. But not everything, uh, you know, that is a magnet, you know, behaves the same way, which is kind of our story right here. So why do we see this jumping up and down business? The reason we saw it is because we're getting magnetic repulsion at different points as we go across the strip. And as we get that magnetic repulsion, whatever this end is of this strip, let's suppose it's a north end, whenever it meets a north pole, a strong north pole here, it's going to be repelled and it's actually going to lift off. Now the south to north thing you're not going to see as much because it's going to stick to it. Um, so the magnetism of this is actually a lot more subtle than a regular bar magnet. I have a piece of this uh, magnetic viewing paper. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive, and it shows up interestingly on here as many, many, many lines. How about that? So what that's saying to you is there's a whole lot of strips of magnetism across this object right here, okay? And uh, every time it transitions north to south, you see one of those white lines on there. Now just to show you that there's nothing really special about this, I picked another uh, refrigerator magnet off. This is actually off of our uh, refrigerator. We got this as a present from a student that stayed with us uh, about a year ago. So it uh, looks kind of different, certainly in a regular kitchen magnet, but watch what happens when you put this film on it. See, you still get those lines of magnetism. Now I don't really know why exactly they are like that all the time, but they are, and that's how they show up with this magnetic viewing film, lots of little strips of magnetism.